Hey guys, God gives us opportunities. It says in 1 Corinthians 16, 9, Paul the Apostle said, I will remain in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door of effective service has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Paul saw in the great city of Ephesus opportunities, doors opening, but he also knew it was going to be with a lot of conflict. And that's what it says in 1 Peter 5, 8. It says, be of sober spirit, be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour, but resist him firm in your faith. Now, just knowing the opportunities are there, but there'll be conflict makes us aware and helps us to understand, okay, concurrent with the opportunity, there's going to be some battle ahead. So, uh, I, okay, so I understand that. So I'm just going to fight. You know, I was watching a political person on an interview, his uncle was uh, assassinated, his father was assassinated, and there's been massive character assassination on this guy. But he understood, he's a lawyer and he's, he's an advocate for certain things in ecology, certain things in, in our foods and uh, med medicine, and he just basically was like a warrior. It's like, this just is, it, it, there's, there's challenge and conflict. Anytime you worth doing anything, anything worth doing is going to have resistance. Jesus said, those who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Another verse says, persecution arises for the word's sake. So you go into the word and you take hold of it and you endeavor to walk in it there will be a challenge. But many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. So later on in 1 Corinthians 16, what Paul is having just said, I will remain in Ephesus until Pentecost for a, a wide or great or huge mega door of effective services open to me and there are many adversaries. He says then, he, he gives a distillation toward the end of the letter. He says five really key things. He says, be on the alert. Be on guard. Be aware. Have your head up. That's a good thing. Be, be on the alert. Don't be nervous. Don't, don't be paranoid. Just be on the alert. The alert is you're paying attention. Uh, stand firm in the faith. I mean, walking with Jesus is the best feature of our lives. Having him is the greatest of all benefits ever. Stand firm in it. Appreciate Jesus. Be enthralled with him. Pray the Lord's Prayer. My Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are debtors. And, and, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Help me to stand. Having done everything to stand firm, stand firm, therefore. Act like men. That means be courageous. How, well, how would that apply to a woman? Have, have backbone. Act solid. Be strong. It says, be strong in the next verse. Strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. 2 Timothy 2, 1. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Be strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. They that wait upon the Lord will gain new strength, right? Let all that you do be done in love. I mean, the love walk. Let's be patient. Let's be kind as we go about what God's called us to do. Anybody watching this, I believe it's not a coincidence. And I wanna encourage you to stand on those scriptures. Go back and read, be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, and let all that you do be done in love. One translation says, bear no ill will. Uh, another verse says, pray for your enemies. Every time you get a check in your spirit about somebody and they're opposing the gospel or they're haters, lift them up in prayer. 
there's potential for them to get saved before they die. God bless you.